G'day guys, how we going? So I've been running the system after fully charging the cells for two or three days. Um, what are we now? Wednesday since the weekend they were fully charged. Um, I have to babysit the system a bit at the moment because I don't have any safeguards in place for the batteries. Uh, so a couple of possible problems I could have is so this um, water pump is connected to a 10,000 litre tank on the other side of that wall. Um, if something was to happen, a pipe was to burst and the tank was to drain, it could deplete the batteries and then they would over discharge, which I'm not going to let happen. Um, the other problem is that it could overcharge, so I'm having to disconnect the solar um, because I don't seem to have enough loads for the um, pack yet. Anyway, what I'm getting at is that I need to set up some safety, some safety measures for the pack. I've got myself a sh the uh, breaker and shunt trip, so. I'll be setting that up initially. I'm also going to get a. I'll just turn that water pump off. I'm also going to get a. Um, um, what am I trying to say? A automatic transfer switch. So this just just by the way, this inverter is awesome. This is. I'm so happy with this. It just is. Um, it just, yeah, it's quality, quality all over this inverter. Um, I've had I've had 2,000 watts of load on it. It's an 18, 1800 watt inverter, but it's got a 2,200 half hour rating. Um, yeah, this is this inverter. Um, although it cost me. 1200 Australian dollars. It's probably the sort of inverter that's going to last 15 20 years continuous use without a problem. Um, yeah, very, very happy with that purchase. Um, so, things I'm going to do is set up an automatic transfer switch which will have uh, the grid grid feed. So, the grid will be backup for the loads I have. Um, designated in the shed here. I'm going to have the um, shunt trip, which will be which will shut the system down if any faults occur. Um, now the other thing I've been planning is I've got my um, 60 amp hour cells. I'm going to set up a bank. I'm going to going to wire these all up in parallel. Make sure they're all even. Then set them up in a 16S pack next to the 100 amp hours. I've also got 12, 12 spare 60 amp hour cells. These ones I, I've just taken the plastic wrapping on, off. I haven't even done anything with these. They're brand new. I've also got these two, two 4S packs here. So that makes 12 cells now. If I have another four cells I can make another 16s 60 amp hour pack so that will give me the one the 100 amp hour 16s and two 60 amp hour packs I've managed to track down two two 60 amp hour cells in Australia Kelb has stopped making the 60 amp hour cells so I'm going to need to find Old, new old stock somewhere. I've tracked down two cells. I can get them for sixty dollars each. Um, I can do that and try and hope to find another two cells. Or I'm thinking I could buy four Winston cells and run them with the Kelb cells, which should be fine. They're the same chemistry. I can't see any issues with that. So yeah, I'm just not sure which way to go with that. But yeah. It would be great to have that extra 60 amp hour pack. 
I'd have a decent amount of storage then. I could probably run my whole shed and maybe some of the house loads on the on the batteries. Yeah, so I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on running the a Winston 4S pack in with the Kelb cells. Uh, they're the same manpower, same chemistry, or whether I should buy these two cells and maybe buy two Winstons. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that guys? Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, just really happy with the way it's running. I'm just going to drain it down again. We're sitting at 66% state of charge there. Um, I've just got the chest freezer running and all my um, 18650s just two the two chargers two discharges here opus and the 4s uh, just getting my next batch of cells ready for sale um, yeah I've got a few more in there uh, I've got my next batch of 30 Qs charge just letting them sit they've been sitting for about a week I'll give them another few days and then discharge those and they will go towards my 30q pack down there all right guys it's been an absolutely beautiful day here um, spring has definitely definitely arrived now and it's uh, really nice really nice to have some warmer weather it's been quite cold here lately. What you doing, Lee? Oh, go on. Go on. Alright, guys. Catch you on the next one. Bye.